The two light dependent resistors on each side of Rover's face can provide some interesting behaviors, like light chasing. For light chasing, the concept is to make Roobird turn whenever one L LDR is different from another. The way we do this is by comparing the values of each sensor. The first case is whether both LDRs are equal. The second case is if the left LDR is greater than the right. And the third case is if the right LDR is greater than the left. We add in a threshold here to each case to control how much of a difference we want for, the, for there to be an effect. For the first case, or the neutral state, we want to bring Roobird back to its home position. So, we slowly iterate back depending on what side the servo is currently on, as in left or right from the center or greater than or less than 90 degrees. For the second case, the light being shone on the right LDR, we want Roobird to move to its right. In this case, right is at 180 degrees, so we iterate to there. If we reach 180 degrees, then Roobird waves its wing. The third case, the light being shone on the left, is exactly the same as the right case, except with zero degrees. As Roobird is rotating, it is tilting upwards. We need this to remain level so that there is no swaying for Roobird to fall over. The way to figure this out is to first find the angles for the up, down, or tilt servo when Roobird is turned and when it is in its home position. Let's draw this out so that we can see it better. We will refer to the up, down, or tilt motor as Y and the left, right, or pan motor as X. So, for the left, we need to find the number of degrees from the current home position. We want to be able to find this angle here, which we'll nickname beta. B is equal to 90 degrees minus our current. What we're looking for is the number of degrees to subtract from the Y motor's home position, depending on what the current X position is. We're looking exactly for this angle here, which would be alpha. The change from the home position in the X motor is 90 degrees. In the Y motor, it's 20 degrees. <laughs> we have the degrees of change for the X. We don't have the degrees of change for the Y, but we do have the change in the X and the change in the Y. So we could just uh, call this a linear proportion and then find the, uh, the alpha number. So this would just be beta over delta x is equal to alpha over delta y, which in the end, this would turn out to be 20 times 90 minus current divided by 90 gives us alpha, which is what we're looking for. The only thing that changes for the right side is that instead of beta being 90 minus current, then for the right side, the beta would be 180 minus current, but then we still want it to be on the scale of 0 to 90, so then we just subtract 90 from this number here. And that's all that changes for um, the right side. Everything else is the same. There are numerous ways to improve upon this behavior. For instance, Doing some better filtering of the light sensors instead of relying on a threshold. Or you could also try to make the Y motor's transition smoother, so maybe not so linear. So to sum up, light chasing is a fun behavior to add to your robot, but you always have to take your robot's geometry into account.